Hey yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Bobby Snicker Roll and I'm back with another video. We are officially on day eight. We've moved out of the first week of the 31 day sneaker challenge. Um, if you're new around here and that big button down below is still red, you're doing it all wrong. Make sure that button is gray. Subscribe to the channel and join the movement. I appreciate each and every one of y'all that's been rocking with the, the 31 day challenge, whether you're participating or just watching my videos or watching the other people that videos that um, are participating, man. It's been a blessing, man. It's been fun and it's been challenging. A lot more challenging than people would think. Some people think you just grab a sneaker, you put it up, blah, blah, blah. No. It makes you look at your collection a little differently. It makes you really appreciate the things that you already have instead of constantly chasing new releases. Every week there's a new release that comes out. We always got our eye on the next thing. This challenge makes you really appreciate the things that you already have. Um, and it makes you, you know, I don't want to double up on a sneaker. I don't want to show you a sneaker for one challenge, day challenge and then three days later show you, well, this means this one too. No. So there's a big list down below, 31 straight um, days. We don't have to be straight or whatever, but 31 days um, of different categories. And today's category is craftsmanship. Now, craftsmanship means to me a lot of detail the materials they put into it, the work and time and effort they put into it and it's well executed. Not just you throw a whole bunch of stuff on it and it don't look good, that don't matter to me. You throw it all together, you put a bunch of work into it and it comes out flawlessly. And to represent day eight of craftsmanship, the only, <laughs> the only mid I will ever own the Mason, I don't, how you pronounce it? Mason, Chateau Rogue. I, I couldn't pronounce it in my review. I can't pronounce it now. But the this is part of the Fearless, a lot, they were doing a lot of Fearless sneakers, um, a Fearless pack of sneakers in like 2019. Um, this dropped on the sneakers at, I don't think it dropped anywhere else. I don't think it, maybe in Chicago or something like that in stores. But I don't think it dropped. I think it might have been a sneakers app exclusive. Um, and I just put in for it. I just love the colors. Like they, they match up so well. Nobody was, there was no buzz, no hype or anything about that. I don't know. I, I don't, I haven't checked the resale market on these. I think it's about six, seven hundred dollars for these now. I haven't worn them yet. Um, but I'll get to show y'all why I, um, let me get my face out of here. Show y'all what I mean by craftsmanship. And details, if you look, you can see the fearless tag at fear with the stripe through it. Look at the Nike swoosh with this waffle type velvet suede type print down near the toe box for the eyelets. You got more brown suede. Um, in the details of the blue, they got this pattern design. Now this isn't like a sale color. This is like a French vanilla type color. Um, then around the, it's not exposed on the tongue on these because it has this like baseball candy cane stitching around the top. On the insole, you do have fearless or fear with the, I don't know if it's gonna be able to pick that up, but in there it says fear just like the hang tag. Um, these are absolutely incredible. These are the only, got the stitching along the back of the Nike swoosh back there. Got the branding on the back. Now, oh, and one more thing, one more thing. Sorry, it says on the back of the hang tag, limits like fears are often just an illusion with Michael Jordan's signature. Let's see if I can get that to focus in and off my ugly face. There we go. Y'all got that. Um, so this is going to be my submission for craftsmanship and then watching this obviously a little quick review overview of this sneaker you see why I selected it incredible for me to buy a mid I know people hate people to slander mids and all that I don't like them this I can rock with the only mid that I've ever liked 
even the OG ones, those, what are they called? The black and uh, yellow ones or whatever, those, I, I'm, I wouldn't want them. If somebody gave them to me, I, I probably wouldn't wear them. These, I haven't worn these yet either, but this is an incredible sneaker, man. And obviously, this was made by um, a black creator as well, some Africans. Um, so that's an added bonus. But I'm not going to drag this video out long. That's what this video is about. I have to find a, some time to get these to the toe. But day eight, 31 day sneaker challenge, craftsmanship, Mason Chateau Rogue. Jordan 1 mid. OVE!